Hi guys, it's Rug and Ronnie, and today I'm going to show you what I got for Christmas and on Christmas Eve. Um, there's still a few more presents that I have yet to get, but I figured I would do the big bulk of them and then do an update one later when I get those ones. Um, so the first thing we did was on Christmas Eve, my boyfriend and I exchanged gifts. So this was the present from him. Obviously, I already unwrapped it. And it's really cute. Ho 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 wrapping paper. And he got me a battery for my laptop because I really needed one because mine was dying in like 10 minutes. So I constantly had to have it plugged in. And that wasn't really, you know, useful at all. Um, and then he got me a BERT from NCIS. Um, if you guys have never seen NCIS, Bert is, there's this girl, Abby, who works in the lab, like she's the lab girl, and she has this farting hippo named Bert, and he got one for me from the website. And you hug it, and it makes a farting sound. <laughs> So then we went to his parents' house for Christmas Eve to exchange gifts with people. And I was really surprised on how many people had gotten gifts. Um, apparently he said a lot of people were like calling and asking what my name was and what I liked and all that. Wow, now I'm going to have glitter all over me <laughs> because the bag is really glittery. So, this one kid kind of bought presents for everyone. Um, so I got this re resurrection plant from him. It can go 50 years without water or sunlight. And it's a plant that turns into a ball and would, like, get blown through a desert until it found a water source. And then it would sink down, bloom, suck up all the water until there was none left, and then become a ball again, and roll again, until it found another source of water. So it can, it can survive 50 years without it, though. It can survive 50 years with no light or water. I thought that was kind of cool. Then we got a bunch of cards. Um, a lot of them had, like, gift cards in them, or money. I believe this one has a gift card in it. Maybe this one has money in it. No, this is the one that has the gift card. So this is a gift card to the Wine and Spirit store. And that was from that was from one of his family members. Yeah, Phil and the kids. And then this one. Yep, this is the one that has the beagle and red lobster. So they gave us two Red Lobster gift cards and a legal gift card. So it's like dinner and a movie, which is kind of cool. I'm going to set those aside as well. And those were from John and Darlene and Ben. So Ben is their kid who gave me the plant. And this one one of the ones with uh, money in it. And 
that was from Cheryl, his sister. And then I kind of like put everything that has something special over here. Like, my friend Jen gave me a Lush gift card, so that was kind of cool. And my parents gave me money, so I kind of put all of the stuff like that like in one envelope so that it doesn't get lost and scattered all over, especially now that I'm making a video to see what we got from who, so we can thank them later. And then I got a card from my parents. That was the card that had money in it for me. And I got some old pictures from my parents with me and my family. Alright. From his sister, I got a thing of kisses. So she kisses. Let's just go over here. Let's wait. Now I have glitter all over me. Glitter is the herpes of the fashion industry, by the way. Of any industry, really, that involves glitter. Arts and crafts, fashion, what have you. So thank God that's off my lap. Um, and then his mom gave me this cute little green box. And green is my favorite color. And inside of it... Was this nice wrapped up little gift. That I kind of re-wrapped. It was really cute. Um, and inside of that was this really pretty jewelry case. Open the jewelry case. And there's a skeleton cameo. I'm in love with skeleton cameos like no one's business. Um, Five Below had like bows and stuff that had cameos, skeleton cameos, and different kinds of cameos on it. And I just went ballistic also because most of the bows were striped. Um, I just kind of went crazy for them. So that was from his mom. And I thought that was really sweet of her. And then also from his parents. I got a CD case, so now I can put all of our movies or games or whatever um, into the case, and it holds 32 discs, which is pretty cool. I already have one, but it's already filled up with my movies, so that's kind of cool to have another one. And then from Andy and Laura from his family. They gave me this cute little box. And I have to tell you guys, I could not stop smelling this when I first opened it. Like, literally my nose was like attached to this. So it looks like that when you open it. And it has two satchels of tea. This one is white peach and this one is oatmeal raisin cookie which sounds so good and then they gave me a little um, like tea strainer and the tea strainer has a little tea cup on top of it which I thought was absolutely adorable
So that was from Andy and Laura. Mom and Dad got me another gift, <laughs> and she got me a set of fleece ladies' pants, one in like this leopard print and one in this star print. And then, Laura and Andy got us this really, they gave us this really cute, um, card, and I'll show you guys. It's a picture of their dog with a treat on its nose. But then they also gave us a box of goodies that I'll show you in just a second. I don't eat pork or beef or really any kind of red meat. I know pork is technically a red meat, but it still upsets my stomach. Um, but they gave us this cute little box. It's not exactly a little. It's a, it's a box. And inside the box... They gave us two things of cheese. Medium cheddar cheese. And two things of summer sausage. So this one is in beef for him. And this one is in turkey for me. And then they gave us pineapple, cranberry, pomegranate. I believe they're... Oh, it's a loaf. So it's pineapple, cranberry, pomegranate, like, cake loaf. Which sounds pretty yummy. And then there was little satchels of cookies. So that's one. And that's the other. And I thought they were just so cool. Like I love this box. <laughs> Especially because they definitely thought about both of us. Like, they gave us two cheeses, two different things of the summer sausage, one that I'll eat and one that he'll eat. Um, so I thought that was really cool. And we just kind of, like, came home and put that right in our fridge when we got home. And then from our friends that we call the frat house, um, that was the girl, Jen, who gave me the Lush gift card. For both of us, they gave us, I believe this is a pumpkin loaf that she's made for us before. It smells so good. And a little tin of cookies. Yeah. And then from my family slash parents. Um, I got an Alice in Wonderland book. Um, Alice in Wonderland meets the White Rabbit. I love Alice in Wonderland. It's my favorite Disney movie. I, I could probably say it's my favorite movie as well. Um, and they, she got me or found a little golden book 
with Alice in Wonderland. And then they got me a Disney's yearbook of 1991, which is the year that I was born. And they got me a nice box of chocolates. And I love this wrapping paper, I really do. Kind of reminds me of my uh, nail before it got messed up. <laughs> it had like spirals and stuff on it. But I really do like this wrapping paper. Um, so they got me that. And then they got me this little like mouse puppet. I think that my little nephew had something to do with this. Um, it is pretty adorable though. It has like her own little muff and like a red coat and a red and green plaid dress um, and a nice cute hat that matches her dress of course and the reason why I think it's cute is because a lot of times during the summer I, or during the winter I will walk around with a muff um, and I wear one of the old fashioned jackets I'll probably show you guys when I do my outfit of the day for Christmas it'll be in that um, so I just thought that was kind of cute. It was, I could tell it was definitely Carson's idea because I don't think my parents would give me a puppet um, for Christmas. So that's kind of cute of him to do. My my little nephew is, um, I believe he's four now, and this was also his idea. The little like elf holding a candy cane and it says, "I love you." And while we were there, he tried giving me some of his gifts as well. So I thought that was kind of cute. You can just hang in like that, and it's cute. Um, so thank you, Carson, for that. Even though you probably won't see this video, but that's okay. So that is what I got for Christmas. And when I do my my um baths of the week at the very end I will have a my Christmas Eve and Christmas outfits of the days so keep an eye out for that it's kind of cute um I think so anyway so I will talk to you guys later bye